Now, where is your little lord? Ferrum Galric demands your body suspended from the gallows of Darkfront within the fortnight. The stallions have rung the bells of war, Avila. If you're not to wear a funeral gown, you'd best find a suit of armor. Keep the forge. How would you like to keep your life, Body 602? Run. You've put your own sister in chains, and you've murdered your own blood. How ironic you want our brother sentenced for the same crimes. Melanie? This is Emmett, and Catrix. They traveled with me to be sure I made it home safe. How thoughtful of you to protect Mel on her mission. Make yourselves at home before your adventure. Caleb makes a carrot stew to die for. Much more trouble than you're worth, little fool. Lucas? Sorry to hear this of your bastard variant. I actually don't think he would have cared for you much anyway. My son. Your mate. How many more of us will fall until we take responsibility? Responsibility? For the deaths of our own beneath our noses. We sit by, then carry on as if we're not being picked off one by one. Stop with this nonsense of we, Variates. 
During your time in the Sutherlands, I've lost my mate and almost lost my son. Both of whom you swore to protect. You're not implying- When was the last time you spoke to Lucas? Perhaps if your bastard cult even crossed your mind every once in a moon, this would have been prevented. It seems you've gathered the wrong party to hold accountable. You cannot task one stallion alone with ensuring the safety of every horse in the kingdom. From this moment on, for every horse of the crown, there must be always two knights at their side. Your grace, this would be a waste of our resources. Then you'll be needing no guards, Lord Castillo. I'll do what needs to be done for the security of my family. What will be done for Lucas? I just told you what will be done. Would you like me to conjure a potion to bring him back to life? He deserves justice! <laughs> you place far too much value on the heads of bastard foals. I'd like to speak to my sister alone now, Your Grace. Of course not. You call the council of all of us. <laughs> Tell me, Your Grace. Does your neck hurt from carrying your head so high? How dare you speak to your king? I don't need to be shielded. Come now, Lord Castiel. My uncle is distraught. Leave the mares to their talk. I wish I could ease your pain. I'm going to speak, and you're not to say a word. If you believe our house will always remain the most powerful in Alkir, you're a fool. And I've never taken you for one. With this crown comes death. Not all at once, not overnight. This death will come slow. One by one, we will watch everyone we love fall to our enemies. We will outlive our foes and carry on with the suffering of knowing our power was to blame. And in time, we will be buried aside them, you beneath the name Falcon. But not before we're forced to live with the crushing grief of the fallout. Brother, not all of us grieve. <laughs> How do you think we got where we are? Lord Baron of House Menteth, at the moment this letter reaches you, your ports of Trident's Edge and Sea Dragon's Bay are to cease all imports and exports to the mainlands of Elkir. <coughs> the Crown will be inclined to make negotiations for this trade halt upon my arrival in the High Islands within a fortnight. King Lalit of House Falcon. Captain Pollock. I, my lord. My sister spoke highly of you. She told stories of how your crew voyaged to the lurch for thirty nights, only to bring home a rare book from my youngest sister's name day. You can extend my appreciation to my commander and the princess. What do you make of this, Captain? Seems my seafarers will be missing open waters. I'd like you to lead the fleets, sail to South End and take their port. We'll prove to the Crown how Smentheth doesn't bend to their threats. 
For 200 years, the High Islands have had open waters with Alkir because stallions of your blood fought for it. With all due respect, my lord, the minted fleets are under the order of Commander Raya. <coughs> she no longer holds that title. The Mentith fleets act on behalf of House Mentith. Our commander brought a Mentith cells, a Mentith chains. <laughs> <laughs> We take no direction from cults who call themselves king. The seafarers bow to only one true mentor. Commander Raya. Enemy forces march for the crown from Ravensdale and Green Isles. When you give the word, my anarchist army will sweep the Northerlands. Your kingdom is divided. Throughout most of the realm, you'll find crown-bowing cities, but no such thing in the Northerlands. Your only option is to grant Felkin sworn lords these lands and subdue the Sheeran loyalists once their house falls. The Northerlands aren't to be touched yet. Your grace, as you said, no horse stands by my titles in Northern cities. To massacre the Sheerans before they've made their move would never be forgiven by horses of their lands. We must strike first, before they grow too strong. <laughs> we'll strike them with fury and strategy. You know the whispers that come with the name Felkin. I'm looking to win this war with a reputation. The Northerlands will bow. Not to the butcher of their house, but to the greatest king who ever lived. And when their stallions knock on Blacksville gates, you'll need the bodies to protect your claim. The only way to hold your gates will be with your hidden alliance. The largest fleets in Elkir Sailed by seafarers written of in history books. House Mentith. The High Islands have remained independent from Elkir far before our time. The greatest king who ever lived. Surely he can wager against fish horses with large forks. We'll sail to the High Islands. I'll bargain for their loyalty. Send a raven to Baron Mentith. Prepare them for our arrival. Very well. Though I'd like you to think... bolder. They've enjoyed open borders with Elkir for quite some time now. House Mentith will be inclined to offer their seafarers, if we have something they've lost. We'll meet the Mentiths on Trident's Edge in the fortnight. Close their ports. My first home was the southern shore. My father travelled as 
a shadow brigade knight. I'm a family and I wove trinkets for coppers. Soon the war of gold fell over Elkir, and I fought beside him until the fall of House Godiel. Former knights of the Godiel Shadow Brigade, like my father and I, were not treated kindly as falcon prisoners. The lot of us barely saw the end of the war with our lives, and my father died in falcon chains. Not long after, I was a wanderer, when I met Kate in a brothel. Cassidy assassins ravaged by homelands. Every horse who bent a knee to House Goldiel died to their steel. I was forced to do what I needed to, to survive. I traded my autonomy for coin, sold myself to stallions who called themselves kings and even mothered foals. They were the most fortunate. They were never around long enough to know this world of strife. When Caleb came to me, he was a shell of his former self I had never known. The wars of kings are unkind to the mind. Kate's unbroken spirit was light in my life of endless wandering. We made no sinful exchanges, only shared our stories. And by the end of the night, we came to the decision that maybe we could survive together. We'd hardly managed to settle for a moon before our camp were raided. For our medicines. Claire and I were born here, in Dapple Grey. Crone horses came to our lands to aid in the war efforts, but brought diseases our home had never known. Our mother fell ill with snake strangle while pregnant with us. I was born in good health. My mother said my sister was to thank for that. For all my life, I've scavenged for their antidotes until it finally took my mother. Then I continued, for Claire. We know the fight of the common horses, so they became one of us. We share our battles. For family. My brother raised me through my early foalhood while my mother did what she could to put supper on the table. She was like you. When the Shadow Brigade passed through Rosewood to collect recruits, my brother told me, leave these lands. Horses like us are nothing but fodder for their crusades. And so I did, while well, he became their fodder. Maybe he would have taken me with him if he knew where I'd end up next. The Keltrix was no gentler than a soldier's life. Until Catrix saved me. Now we're following the path of the Shadow Brigade to find my brother. He and I will find ourselves astray again, I presume. So I'll leave him with ink on parchment, words that remain forever. A valiant mission for foals. Aye, the Shadow Brigade haven't touched lands within miles of Dapple Grey since the War of Gold. But Mel told us- You said they were here. Emmett, Catrix. I'm sorry. I'm sorry? That's all you have to say for yourself? Have we been seen within miles of these lands? We could have been days on a different trail by now. You know. You know how desperately I want to find my brother. I thought if I had your protection, the journey wouldn't be as difficult. I was afraid maybe this time I wouldn't make it home. So you used us as your meat shields against what? A couple horses who had every right to persecute a thief? Tell us of all your valiant triumphs, hero. Do you believe in good and bad? Which are you? Our mission has been diverted miles off course. We don't have time for Foles play anymore, Remit. What does the crown want with you? We've seen your name plastered on every tree in Dapplegray, Catrix Caldwell. You don't happen to be familiar with the name Falcon, do you? Hunters, Mel, stay with Claire. Good evening, Defiance Camp. In the undergrowth, both of you. We do hope Melanie has made it home safe from her journey by now. It's funny, our Stein spotted her not far from here last morning. 
She seemed to have met some friends along her travels. Wow, you're a rare face around these parts. How can I help you, Stallions? You're familiar with our line of work. Perhaps you can answer a few questions for us about the cult pictured here. 500 gold pieces, and all we need is the head of Catrix Caldwell. Never heard of him. That's curious. Seeing as you were spotted on the road with a brown colt matching his description. Remember when you killed Castrol to save me? Not the time, Emmett. But yes. That was cool. If you don't shut up, we're gonna die. Thank you. <laughs> Melanie, tell them what you know! The defiance of all horses would be the last I'd expect to be harboring falcons. <laughs> Emmett? They're looking for you. They're hurting Caleb. No one tell them we're here. They're gonna kill him if we you don't- can't do anything, Emmett. Of all the times to think of ourselves, now is the time. That's you. She lied to us. She was selfish at our cost, and she brought this danger to her horses. Empathy. It may be something you've never known, but I've made a promise to you. Now I need you to keep a promise to me. Emmett, please. Safe travels, Catrix Caldwell. Emmett. Could have been much simpler. I'm I'm Catrix Caldwell. See how easy that was, Melanie. That's all we needed to hear. <coughs> Let's talk about this first, Stallions. Five hundred gold pieces, and all we need is the head of Catrix Caldwell. What's the meaning of this? Lord Evrian won't be pleased to hear of his allies in Barnes. Aye, my prince. Though he wouldn't be pleased to hear of where we found her, either. Overlooking our barracks. Counting. How many did you get to before I respotted you? Enough to satisfy your Lord of Darkness? I don't understand. She was counting our stallions to report our numbers to the enemy forces. What is your command, my prince? With Lord Evrian away, the authority of Green Isles falls to you. Is this true, Fensha? Mark of the Anarchy. Doesn't that say it all? Throw her in a cell. Upon Lord Evrian's return, she'll be executed for treason. As you command, Your Grace. Oh, God. <laughs> You 
You shouldn't see her. I need to know why. Because she's signed her life to House Castiel as plenty have before her. You'll get nothing but attempts to guilt you into her freedom. I don't want to hear another word about this, Azrael. <laughs> My prince. You won't be accompanying me for this, Azrael. Why? I don't believe in you. I've served alongside lords all my life. Lords who could be kings. King's blood radiates fear. It can be felt by all those who bend the knee. There is not a drop of king's blood in you. But Lord Castile, you feel his king's blood? For a time, yes. Until I met the stallion who will conquer El Kir. The Lord of Darkness is the least of your troubles. This stallion's name is Fear. How large are this king's forces? Doesn't matter. House Evrian will fall to him. We shared friends once, Luca. Atari and Avalon Daisier. <sighs> friends. Take my life as you will. If your stallions find him, let their foal live. Remy knows nothing of our sins. Stallions before you have said all the same. I cannot pretend to know your loss, Lady Sharon. What I do know is we share stories of betrayal and the decay of a friend you once knew. There is only one knight of Dark Front who knows still loyalty burns. Let go of your strength, Avila. The Northerlands will need their queen. As you were, land lost. Lady Evrian. A gift from King Gelric of the Northernlands. The only true king in the Northernlands is Revan Sheeran. <sighs> How adrift you've grown to forget your loyalty to your blood. I've forgotten nothing, Avila. I've done what I must to adapt in order to survive. Perhaps someday you'll know my story. Until then, the horses of Elkia will continue to sing the ballads of the broken mare who lost her way. If this is not you... Free me. Relieve yourself of Neptune's shackles and fight this war alongside my brother and yours. <laughs> too little, too late. That Evrian mare was strangled alongside her son, and her words became strength and shadows. One day, she'll be buried beneath Castile banners as he was. Then you are truly lost. 
You know not the strength of sacrifice. The time for change has come, Avila. The days of Shirin reign have been undone. All that remains of the future you knew is this. The gallows await you, as does your lady, in the life beyond this one. Where's her head? If she were dead, Fearum would have sent me her head. I know you. How do I know you? We've come to you before, Revan. Spent much of our lives watching over you. You hold a power within you that's been dormant since the dawn of Elkir. We've been tasked with your protection. Well, you've done quite the job. We know what you've lost, but you're not alone in this life, Revan. We're going to get you home. Home? Ravensdale burns under Enika's fire. My parents are dead. My sisters are dead. My brothers are dead. There is no place left in Elkir to call my home. You've been betrayed by everything you've once known. This is a suffering familiar to us. If there is truly nothing left for you, you have nothing to lose by placing faith in others one last time. Lay your faith with us. We will carry you home. What are your names? Cade. Kadara. What are you? Thank <laughs> you. 
And then I joined the Shadow Brigade. I suppose I could have become a knight if I hadn't ended up here. Well, now maybe you'll have that chance. I've never known a knight who's slain a bear. Have you any word from my family? Have they been looking for me? Avanchi, when you're well rested, we'll discuss your family. Oh, fuck off, will you? Hey! Those are my friends. They aren't to be harmed. Of course, my lady. You don't call me my lady. Thank you for serving our asses more than once. I wish you the vengeance you seek. <laughs> you too. Hey! What are your names? Remember me as Roach. I'm Bumblebee. <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't want that creature to do what it did to me. To you. The medic said it's gonna scar. It looks pretty cool, huh? <laughs> yeah, badass. Now we match. Where will you go? Home. And where's that? Sandry. Nowhere you've heard of. Now I have. Evrians! We take our leave to Green Isles. You stay sharp, yeah, Beast Butcher? As you, Harkoner of Sandry. We're to be known as the stallions who turn the Sheerans to nothing but piles of bones and pools of blood. And you believe Firim Gaelric would be so kind as to mention your name alongside his victory? Which is what, anyway? Body 603? <laughs> but House Vitsen? We'll be sure to have a golden page in the history book of Elkir. They'll tell tales of a false Sheeran knight who made possible the fall of the great house. Royce Vitsen. The true blood. I'm proud of you, Colt. Royce Vitson. The running dog of Ravensdale. We owe you a great debt, it seems, though I can't help but wonder if your new loyalties are truly as unwavering as your father claims. I've done what was asked of me. My stallions fight for a different world, a world where horses who stood by your Sheeran lords are only bodies and unmarked graves. Horses like you. My lord. He's made evident he stands behind the anarchy. Your justifications fall short. He wears the name Vitsin, but he knows their words. Honor conquers vengeance. I'd like to trial some of this honor. <laughs>
Ashiran Hoofmaiden. You probably know her name. That much only matters to you. You're going to honor the Anarchy by killing this mare. <laughs> If this is your command, she'll die by sheer and steel. Roy Spitz. <clears throat> they called your mother Alia, the red-tailed Sheeran. Even when she was expecting a cult named Vitsen, she knew her blood. She returned to Ravensdale so he too would know his home. I was at her side when you came into this world. If only I was at her side. <clears throat> Nothing could have saved her. Yes, but for the cult named Vitsen, how Sheeran called him brother. I suppose this was always feared to come from you. Always dismissed, but we were never wrong. I see that cult still. He'll always be Roy Sheeran. Nothing happens when your time 